guys welcome back to my channel it's obapa kitchen again yeah yes guys <laughs> today we are going to make authentic ghana chicken curry okay so with this time around no it's gonna be a very simple recipe you guys know my food is always simple and easy to cook so first of all you're gonna need your chicken okay so right now i have boneless chicken thigh if you don't like the boneless chicken thigh you can use our chicken breast okay this one will go too and also i have some tomato diced one i'm using hand this time this one is um 14.5 ounce uh, yeah and it i think it's almost like 400 grams or something and i'm using two of it when we come here i have my titles here it's gonna go i have my tomato paste yeah guys if you haven't tried this tomato paste do because it's very very nice especially when you make with your stew and your soup that is very nice and when you come to this side also i have two big red onions and i have my onion leaves or onion green right here as what i am going to use i have my habanero one green or yellow or um <laughs> red yeah i have two of them and i'm using some fresh 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 ginger root as well and guys my seasonings i'm using salt i have a curry on this side curry powder i have gloves guys when you cook stew make sure you add gloves guys it's added a very nice and you know flavorful taste to it and also i have some cayenne pepper Mustache, guys, you know how much I love mustache. Garlic powder, oregano leaves. This is all my spice that I'm going to use, guys. So stay tuned, don't go nowhere. Let's get started. So, to begin, guys, I have this chicken thigh. Like I said, it's boneless chicken. So, I'm going to cut it into pieces. blender right here I'm using my smoothie blender you can use normal blender whatever you want so I have two onion I'm going to cut one and then blend and the ginger you don't have to peel your skin okay let's make sure you washed it and that's it add all of it to it and then also I have my gloves okay I don't have the powder one so I have to blend it with the, this one so I'm using about a half teaspoon of gloves guys gloves okay gloves used to I add yeah mm, glow spice so I did used to a nice but so I recommend this and now I am going to blend this so with this onion I am just gonna cut it into two and I'm going to use one later on and one to uh, fry with the oil so stay tuned guys so guys in the medium heat i have my uh pot already on the stove i added my oil okay so i'm just gonna add the chicken so you see the the chicken thigh you can add them right now okay and this time around i can add the seasoning so I'm gonna start with the garlic uh, powder. So I'm adding about one teaspoon of garlic powder because I like garlic. I'm adding a half teaspoon of cayenne pepper. See that guys? There you go. Guys, you know how much I love Miss Dash. Half teaspoon. <laughs> also guys, oregano that one I'm gonna add a lot because this is very healthy but let's say about two teaspoons then let's add some salt it's a half teaspoon of salt to you know for to taste so we're gonna make sure it's all mixed well with the chicken with this chicken curry guys everybody can make it so this is the simplest 
easiest chicken curry. Okay, and when you are done, you see how it's gonna taste. It's gonna be really nice. So at this point, we're just gonna allow it to cook for about, let's say 10 minutes. And we'll add the other ingredients. So this has been 10 minutes, guys. It's been 10 minutes so far, so I'm just gonna add my onion. like more flavor to the stew at this point too I'm gonna add my tomato paste so I'm gonna place just a little bit depending on the amount of uh, stew that you're making so about 10 drops make sure everything combined about five minutes just leave it like that, you know, to cook in five minutes. So guys, after the five minutes, you will get some kind of a gravy, you know, like that. See that? Mm -hmm. So now we're going to add the tomato, the diced tomato. And with the tomato guys, I strained the water a little bit because there was too much water in it. Okay, so make sure you strain it just a little bit, not all of it. And mix it very well. As you can see, still no. Oh my, it's a bang, a chip it. A chip it, And also I'm going to add this right here, my uh, mixed onion, ginger, um, the groves, yeah, I'm going to add all of them to it. Too. Okay, gentry stir. Oh guys, just smell the flavor of that chicken and then all oh, the gloves, oh my goodness. This is going to taste nice. Mm, still the very come up the race. I smell them. It's gonna taste really nice. So at this point we're just gonna cover it and let it cook slowly. So I'm gonna open it and stir it, you know, and then we are going to add uh, the rest of our ingredients. See how it is. So you can tell right away that it has reduced uh, the weight, you know, the amount has reduced. So I'm going to add my sardine right here. Remember we didn't add the sardine yet. And this is the time you can add your sardine. Or if you don't like sardine, you have a geisha. You feel free and add it. Or if you don't have geisha, you have mackerel. You can add that as well. The stew is smelling amazing. Stew now you shrimp. Yeah, 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 your papa stew are you shrimp. So now I'm going to add, I have the diced um, green onion and also have some fresh onion as well. So I'm going to add all of them to the stew and also I'm going to add the green one as well. So this stew is basically, it's about done. So we're going to give it about less five minutes. So before, I'm going to add my curry powder. So I'm adding about a half teaspoon of curry powder. Okay. And I tasted the salt too, and I think just need a little bit of salt. So I'm adding just a pinch of salt to it. And give it a very nice, good stir. Let everything combined. Now, in tune, you shall never forget what the air. Bapa stew, and now, you know, this year, you are stew, huh? Guys, this stew is a jet. How's that effect? With this tea, everybody can make it, you know. If you cron cron, no, I know what. But no, bit me, I nice. So, this is done so basically, you know, and it should be done. Done deal. Finally, our stew is done. 
Yes, you know, I'll share guys where I come up. We and more you can enjoy this with yam, plantain, rice, kinky, uh, banku. Okay, plantain. You can eat this with a lot of stuff, guys. This stew is just perfect for your So, this time I have my rice right here. As you can see, this rice is basmati right this time. Okay, for those who want to lose weight, basmati rice is good for you. Okay. And also I have my cabbage on the other side, just a little bit of cabbage, um, it's going to rep represent as a salad or if you have normal salad you can use it. But I'm going to dish this out guys. Well look at that. Ah, we're in your corner. See the chicken is very very tender and the sauce is just amazing. This chicken stew, oh guys, smells very nice. It just smells very nice, just tastes awesome. Mm. Tastes very, very awesome. Just look at that, guys. Look at that beauty right here. Beauty. <laughs> Alright, so, guys, I am going to taste this, okay? So, you guys will see, you know, how it tastes. So, I have my spoon. I always eat my rice with my spoon, guys. I'm gonna add just a little bit of the cabbage, okay? And then also um, get some, a little bit of the chicken. On this side where is the chicken there you are okay and then I'm going to taste this you I'm here my roll my name is yes Baba this is good my here my dear now right this is nice ah so guys, try this recipe, okay? Let me know. I make my chicken curry. I cannot get enough of this rice because it tastes very good. This stew is the best. Make sure you add your glove, guys. It does it all. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so I'm much sure for your comments. I was so shocked, like, you know, how you guys responded. Thank you so much. Your, your, your comment just melted my heart. Thank you so much. And... I hope I'll see you on my next video. Try this recipe. Let me know what you guys think. I hope on show Bibiala. I love you all. And thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys. Bye-bye.